Hello and welcome back guys to another episode of our This Is Total War campaign with Eastern Roman Empire in Total War Attila. The main thing in the previous episode was our hero and emperor over here, Flavius Arcadius Augustus. We fended off the Huns times two with him. And in this episode we are starting off with some rebellions, starting with the Eastern Roman Separatist and I probably will continue fighting off the rest of them as well. Oh right, I thought there were going to be more rebellions actually, but that's the only one and it's a victory. Alright, misdirect army outcome success. Ah uh, yeah, encourage dissent, failure, compromise security, success. Over here, okay. I think we have a couple of um, initiated sieges, enemy military investment, yeah for sure. For example, in Egyptus, yeah. Enemy blockade established here as well. Saba deceased Itziza. Optar Samsuiluna. Burna Buryash. Piburus. That's uh, slightly easier to pronounce, even though that was probably wrong as well. Here too, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Disease. Oh, is it the rebellion imminent? So we will probably fight off more rebellions next turn, right? Scipio office secured. Ready for orders. Darn it. Darn it, that's so horrible news. This entire army caught the seas. Shit. We can't get rid of it. So it's just... So we're going to suffer attrition until we die, basically. So the best thing we can do, or anyone can do when having an army that's caught the seas, is just to disband it. But the same is true for them. Problem, problem is, okay, I need to have a think about that for a while, uh, to be honest. Do you know about any new factions? Where should we even begin? Feels like it's, uh, yeah, here as well. Oh, uh, but that's us. No, I mean this army. Well, all right. Latsika. Yeah, it should shouldn't be a problem so that's we're going to leave that as it is so the bastardinians as a horde entering our territory and the groitungians doesn't seem to be that strong abashkia abashkia pushing out that's quite interesting as well german scout well, that's uh, At your command. that's good actually. And household gained for Flavius Arcadius. Mandazora charge bonus personal influence. But I want to have a look once again at him. Oh, a skill point. Traits. We should switch that. For sure. For more campaign line side. I haven't actually checked other ones household, so maybe it's time to do that. I, I might have missed uh, I might have missed something actually pretty good. You never know. Assault action that could be very useful. Oppress trap. Assault unit. I'm going to go with that and the personal combat. Because that's actually a couple of agent actions I might utilize. I tend to not utilize them, them all that much, but... Slovenians and Sabirs. All the Slavs having a go at them. 
heroic victory in Marcianopolis and, and the Battle of Amida was a Pyrrhic one. And then we had another heroic victory in Tremontium. Raiding you demon. Would not be a problem to fend those ones off. And this army. Should be possible as well, but if we could get down here with our with our army, that would be even better. So we don't really risk risk too much. So Dacian rebels, construction complete in the Sibis. Now we have converted that to a city of our own, so now we have a bit more garrison, which we hunger for could be nice. And at the end turn, I don't know if I included that in the Heaven previous um, episode, I don't think so. But we saw some action here between the, the, um, the Sassanids. And the white hands. And as we can see, they are actually quite damaged this stack. And seasonal conditions. Okay. So let's have a look at this one as well. That seems uh pretty fine. A Greek Christianity 42%. I'm satisfied with that. Power balance is just about right. 70. Well, we had two battles, so we Burned some influence rather quickly. And the other one's 84 or so. Yeah, that affects the loyalty with uh, by minus two. More influential than the ruler. That's only him. Just at the edge here as well. So it should only be one, right? Minus one, two. Because of more influential than the ruler. But at, at the same time, he has had a 10 out of 10, so that's an no worries. Cesarius was the other one. 6 out of 10, so that's not, not an issue either. So we might actually dare. How did that agent? That cost 35. So that will bring us down a fair bit. It will bring us down to 35, actually. I'm not, uh, yeah, I want to stay here, even though it provides more public order, but we do lose uh, tax rate if we go below here, 1%, yeah, not a humongous deal, but considering how things are looking, we need to, we need to uh, turn every coin at the moment, ah, uh, very well, I am yours very well, let's start working around, that's your command. So that small army here. Should aim to take them down first. Oh no, they are staying out of reach. So annoying. March. So annoying. Let them continue to build that. Let them continue to build that. How much movement do we have? Well, all right. Only 15% here. Which way is the most likely on, option? Probably for him to come back here. It should be a slightly higher there. I mean, on the other hand, it's more about us just, on the move. you never know. And I actually think, concealed from view. Blackmans. Trying to go for Aila, I suppose. And Himyar is still around, but... I am a shadow. I 
at your service. I don't want to spend that money. I, I am sure as don't want to spend that money. Right. Let's just uh, take a look around. Sort of like this. Swift as the angels. Impossible. I shall rest a while. So have a look. They are really damaged, but so are the Sassanids. There's definitely a war raging between them. And at the moment, it doesn't look like the Sassanids are winning. But it also looks like a Pyrrhic victory for the White Hands. I think their best hope is to for Atropateni to come to their aid. We will continue to monitor the situation. And if they can just fight it out with us, uh, without involving us, that would be the best thing. And then we can just sort of um, strike. Problem uh, or problem thing is we should... We might just... Maybe we should use the opportunity to go and strike Armenia. Because they have been an, a thorn in our side for a long, long time. And with this city built up, we could move him down here. That could be an option, guys. That could be an option. Trying to just... Wits and words are yours. Cut the discouraging of the population for now. Don't really need that. Seems unnecessary to do so. Keep you like this. 36%. Yeah, keep working. But on the other hand, we could use you to re-Christianity. 45. 45. We are at zero here because that's... Uh, desolate region and the Ostrogoths have, looks like they have expanded we could place them here just to see what's going on or the priest but he do help with uh, no let's leave him there for now and we have our priest here as well and our ships here honestly what are they thinking to battle. I try to go besiege, but they don't want to take the fight in the open. Only against the garrison. Ready for orders. Doesn't really make sense that either, does it? At your command. Fleet All right, guys. Hope you have your snacks and drinks because I'm taking my time here. Feel free to strategize with me. They're building up. I do wonder what the Garmantians are really up to. Are they... Is it like this because they... We stopped them in, in, them in Orgila. So did they simply switch target to just going on and conquer here? And Because we haven't seen them in Orgila for a quite long time now. If there weren't if it's a possible backstab operation, or actually move up to here, those forces could merge. We hunger. Oh, well, we are not replenishing with you. Their stack Commander. moved onto there. You to here. We hunger for battle. Commander. If we go after you, we can't Ready fight. Can't fire fight, uh, fight anyone else. Commander. We could scare him away. Or possibly just uh, merge. We hunger for battle. 
This is kind of highly dangerous. Oh, it's the Sabirs here just at the edge of our border. And the Huns are actually, the faction leader are actually all the way up here. Okay, so that brings me some confidence to be honest. Ready for orders. And where are the Ostrogoths? I wonder. We hunger for battle. I don't think we have an option but to just leave him as he is and actually which is the weakest one merge you two at least we're actually going to keep the legio yes we are yes we are Ready for battle. yeah it was about that it's not, uh, not that much, but uh, it sure is something. It sure is something. So, we can't do anything more with you. We have to... Mm, we'll have a look. So, Flavius Rufinus. could actually get here and you are replenished in full um amida we hunger for battle even ranked up so let's bring you down to misibis you can't really as i stated in the previous episode you can't defend regardless or we want to get to the local province yeah so let's uh switch that up for a bit Three turns until they are replenished. 900. We are actually going to merge two of them. I'm making this for us. Uh, we hunger for battle. Not that large. Commander. In general, we already have ranked up with them. We hunger for battle. Ah, uh, well. Uh, Let's bring us up to the border first. Waiting for orders. And toss. Ready for orders. Could simply. Commander. We hunger for battle. Not much movement points left if we go and attack him. The thing is, do we even want to take this city? Ready be that what do we want to be that aggressive? Or do we just want to sack the city? At first things command. first. To victory! Right, we push him into the woods. Make that haste, men! Don't bring us out of reach. He can still reach Amida. He can still reach Amida. Ready for orders. I think we should get rid At of him first command. before going for the city. Ready for orders. Fortress sold this one. Good, and we take the one percent replenishment. And who ranked up? Ready for orders. Army. Versus nomadic tribes. Recruitment cost um, integrity construction cost minus six percent local province. Minus six. Defenders of virtue. Let's work our way down towards that. More morale and that melee the extra melee defense that's strong. It's quite strong. Could even almost reach all the way over there. So Amida, you you're not damaged. Yeah, because we repaired you. But you are damaged. So you won't be able to withstand an attack. Alright, guys, Barba, yeah, no, Maliolius. 
Oh ja. At your command. To battle! See if it's possible to chase them down. Make haste, men. Very good. All right, not the large uh, battle, but I don't uh, trust the power of balance here, so we need to do this one manually. General, All right, let's begin the march over the steepest hill I have seen in quite a while. Uh, their deployment zone was over here, so they're going to stick by the woods for sure. We can use our cap to kind of um, scout around and you can kind of go here. We don't need to be super efficient, but we can't be too sloppy either. There they are. That way we can keep track of them. They are in hiding. Bloody hell. We are not in hiding anymore. Ready for battle! Run, pursue! For war! Come into tenses! Warriors of Christ! Come into tenses! Oh, come on. At the double! Let's try to confuse them a bit. I would definitely want to go through the woods. Uh, don't run. Don't waste too much energy. And now everyone is in hiding. Let's make sure our cow gets visible then. The enemy has laid an ambush. Orders. Double time. At the double. Run, curse you. Right, let's Come move in. Come into tenses. By your command. That's good enough. Use them to kill them off. Should be able to hold out for long enough. Your shard should do the trick. We need to keep them from firing. Two manic pikes. Shattered. And we don't need to chase them all down here. Because we have already chased after them. So uh, they are dead. Okay, you can shape up. case you're needed. Doing fine, right? Okay, they are shattered. Never mind them. Let's uh, bring the Germanic uh, 
Burger is back here. Should we get you some kills as well? Let's see, get it. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong, right? We send our general in as well and get him some kills. Our general is under attack. Yeah, I know. Kind of a sort of a calculated risk, I guess. A decisive even. And we don't need the replenishment. We're just going to grab a tiny bit of cash that we can. 98. That's the unit's um, upkeep for a turn, basically. Depending on the unit, of course. A herder unit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, get to it. Always dangerous to stay this close by the border, but... Yeah, what, uh, what are we gonna do, you know? We Might actually... Uh, we'll just... No, things are too dynamic here, so we just have to we wait and see. Actually. Commander. But this should have no problem defending in, against what hunts that are left. They could go for Tremontium. Possibly one more stack. Never be too sure, I guess. So, we have the Grasanid rebels right here, swarming with agents. Commander. So, I really don't like it here. Alright, we get some uh, support from the cavs, so this shouldn't be a problem as well. Let's do it. All right, let's uh, begin. Let's await our reinforcements and play. Oh. They're actually moving towards us, right? Approaches. Good news. Or Additional only adjusting, I guess. Arrived. Yeah, you get here regardless. Just Comet Atensees. You sort of be like this and scout equities bring you forward. No, they're not moving towards us. Alright, so let Whoa shit. Terrible dodge. Right. Apart from that first dodge, uh, that was terrible. We managed to avoid the rest of them. Right, let's uh, stay on the fast forward. Oh, scared, I could say. How unnecessary. Are we? We are active, so that's fine. You forward a tiny bit at a time. From here on. Them. We just want to have him fearing the attack. Have him move back. And start bringing them closer. Continue to bring them closer. There we go. Orders and 
understood. Yes, Split him up. Orders understood. Fires at the double. Advance at three. Uh, keep you in the middle. Uh, good, good, good. Stop. Come on. No, don't use your job just yet. Neither should you. The spears, that shouldn't be a problem. If we could try to engage Riders the general, that would be nice. Riders, advance. As you command. No, 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 no. Sending forward and go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. dead and now go for the archers go in with the rest of the spears never mind the onagers they're apparently just sitting there that would be good 57 ah oh, no Force me to come out of you. General taking out the Onger. I want it to be the cavalry to be a bit closer to the edge in order for to get all of them. Because I don't want them to stay. Uh, kind of a weird AI behavior here, but. On the other hand, you shouldn't be too surprised. The enemy general is dead. Exactly what we want. And that's the victory right then. The day is yours. Okay, good. We can end it. And that's him dead. Ready for orders. Perfect, and I think we can afford to take the money here as well, because we hunger for battle. We really can't do much regardless. We would be able to keep it from Ravel for one turn, and if we do it like this, take it. Okay, ninety-three, thirteen. I mean. Raiding immigrants to the station. Yeah, let's repair it. And let's uh at your command. Keep it from I'm not going to tax it. This very moment at least. Oh, let's work our way as usual with that towards the extra movement range because I count on that he's going to be a more of a, a offensive general eventually eventually four turns they could have a go but they wouldn't they wouldn't manage against this they would not manage but we have moved you guys we have lowered our expenses a tiny bit 
Now it's time to have a look at this situation right here. Did the, the, those guys win away? I still... Hear us, Lord. No, they no should be reinforcing now. They're not. They are suffering seasickness. Why is that? Oh. They went out on sea. Right we in circle. Settlement. Is there any more to recruit? We could uh, recruit these guys, but I'm not too, too sure that we need them. Okay, I need to have a thing. They are coming in by sea. The general is not. They are coming out. But they're going to sit inside the settlement, that's for sure. I don't know. I don't really know. It's kind of tricky still. Kind of tricky still. Maybe the best option is just to keep besieging. besieging I the think settlement. we're better off trying to for God wait it out for one more turn. I think so. Lassica is probably not near as uh, they are here instead. But on, the, on the other hand, they could go all the way here to... Hear us, Lord! That's the case. We need to try to make due regard as I really don't want to use the money on recruiting them. I really do not want to. We have the Persian herders, and I think that should be honestly just about enough. For God himself. Oh, let's keep it as it is. Keep it as it is. Try to wait him out for a bit. See if we could get the Sally out. Because we need to think one, try to think one step ahead. And by that, I mean, yes, I do think we might possibly be able to take the city. It could end in a failure. But if we take the city, we need to still have the capacity to hold it. And I, I'm not too convinced that we can right now. Not right now, at least. So I'm going to take my chances and waiting for a bit more. A bit more. So, Itikanius, how are we looking? We have the entire Vandal army here as well. They're probably going to move down to Oxidinkus, won't they? Shit. There would be zero that we can do about it. We cannot beat this in the open. But we would be able to win uh, a siege. Yes, we're going to suffer attrition, but so are they. So are they. We need to remember that. Decline the attack for now. Okay, uh, sorry guys if I'm taking my time here. If you, but This is a hard thing to just come out on top of. But I'm trying to figure my way on how to do that. The Lord of Desert Spears. Commander. Okay, let me have a look again. Two, three, six. Six to hold the line. That's simply not enough. Then we need to have a good position and we can't count on that. But this is not an active fight you should take. We're both suffering attrition. But I was considering actually taking this fight because if we could win this, then most likely the Vandals would probably go and besiege again and that way we could save Oxyrhynchus. 
Now that's not the case. We're just going to have to suck it up. You're kind of stuck. You are kind of stuck. Commander. We hunger for battle. I think we should go and take, retake Ptolemy. Or Gila. Commander. Could have the time. Could have the time for it. So what would we really need? They could potentially recruit a few, uh, four more. I oh, know that's that's the wrong wrong one. Four more, but they are uh, are they five? Yeah, this is looking better and better. Five, ten, eleven. Eleven units. Command. We could probably pick something up. Get you here, the waves and not high in mercenaries, but let's we need more ships. get us one of those ships. Ready for battle. No matter which road we go by, we are going to suffer attrition, that's for sure. your command waiting for more orders we hunger for battle march ready for battle grab them so we can't fight them off here we can try to push them out here so i'm taking a gamble on this one with some support from these guys, taking this city should be more than possible. Ready for battle. And I think we're going to simply save up the cash or save the cash. So that's uh, about what we can do, honestly. Is there any um, food is looking okay, but. Is there anyone that's... Could actually repair a bit. Repair these ones in, in case that... Well, yeah, let's repair it. Let's repair it. Let's... Uh, 400. 63 and this was 91. Yeah, let's get our wealth back for, to Tremontium at least. Holy moly. Holy moly. Let's uh, keep the cash, I think. Oh, mercenary Armenian spears. That's quite cool. We need to save up the cash. Okay, let's end the turn. Yeah, as I suspected. The battle's going for Oxidinkus. Look at those odds, man. Look at those odds. Alani Horseman. Alright, but at least let's do some... Let's, uh, let's make them pay at least. Alright, let's uh, begin. Let's begin. There really is a zero You're chance here. Outnumbered. Zero chance. But at least we could get some kills then, hopefully. We have all the towers, so they are going to do some work. And if we could kind of get possibly one charge off, maybe. Okay, let's okay, let's uh, get him in. Because there's the enemy is attacking our too many... Uh, dropping quite fast. Dropping quite fast. Alani Horseman. 
But with these many horses, it could be tricky to find a gap to actually get something done with our own cab. Uh, but at, at the same time, you never know. Possibly go for the Sinis Nand, the Germanic nobles, but they're down to 112. Germanic Spearman, 13 only. 13 only. Let's try to keep it as long as possible. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. The unit has rallied. Unit of Germanic hurlers. I'm going to bring you down here, actually. Go for that guy. Well, let's see. 25-45. Let's see how much... I uh, don't think there's too much friendly fire, but it's going to be any friendly fire so from the herders. And not so much from... Maybe from the brigands. Not so much from them. I don't think, at least. What I am interested in... After this fight, is this are just going to sack it and continue downward, or if they are actually oh, I could lure them and annihilate like that, and actually try to settle here. I really don't know what my least favorite option is, to be honest. Let's try to lure something. Not waste your ammo against them. Two arms. Get them, any of them. Attack their position. Oh, maybe we shouldn't use that. Thirteen. Twelve. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Quickly now. Get you through. We think we finished them off as well. Okay, let's go for it. Might be able to beat them, but I doubt it. Fourteen in melee attack versus uh, R17. Fourteen melee damage versus. 40 charge bonus, 42 melee defense. But here they come along as well. That's fine. Okay, we should uh, we could try to escape. Go at it at the archers. The men are losing hope. Yeah, but they're still here. Try to pull through and... Oh, shit. Okay, playing a bit of a cat and mouse game with... This Alani Horseman. Okay, let's get one more charge off. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! Oh, right, guys. Oh, right. So no big battles. Our men flee this the field episode. Of this is a shameful display. Over 800 men lost for their sake, which is uh, quite okay. But a lot of these guys survived. That kind of amazes me. At least we got rid of the Persian scouts. So now the interesting part is, what do they do? 
they sacked it. All right, the hands moving down. Let's see. How much reinforcements are they going to... No? No, they went to besiege. And they are selling out now. This is what we want to see. And we don't need to see the boats. But this is even better. All right, guys, this is where we continue the next episode. Some interesting stuff going on with the Huns there. Um, or more terrifying maybe anyway we'll find out what they what they want or what they are up to in the next one anyway guys thank you very much for watching until next one have a good one